Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and I hope that you're having an amazing day. So, I don't know if you can tell by the quality of this video, but I have a new camera lens and I'm so stoked to have it and own it and play around with it. It is a wide angle lens, so uh, thank you Carlos for um, recommending it a while back and me finally purchasing it. But um, yeah, so uh, today's video I'm actually pretty excited to talk about. Um, and so let's just get into it, right? Um, so. As you may or may not know, based on the quality, not quality, uh, based on the content of my channel, I am a vegan. I live a vegan lifestyle as best as I can, and I eat a vegan diet, um, and yeah, I basically live my life to uh, create as little negative impact as I can and as much positive impact as I can. And um, you may or may not also know that I have a tattoo on my back. And this all kind of ties in together, I promise. So, um, I'll insert a clip here of my tattoo, but it's basically a bamboo peace sign with um, a dove holding a music staff, and there are two quotes at the bottom. And the quotes are, be the change you wish to see in the world, and la vie bo Um And yeah, and I got it when I was 16. Fun fact, <laughs> I had parental consent, I promise. Um, and uh, it's something that still holds true to who I am today, and that's a testament um, of like me understanding myself at 16, which was six years ago now. Um, wow, wait, what? <laughs> ah, okay, I feel old, anyway. Um, so that was six years ago now, I can't even, I need to stop saying that. Anyway, um, and it's something that still holds true. And uh, I mean, be the change you wish to see in the world is something that I just so passionately believe in and just try to live my life by. I think that we should all, you know, take what we want to see in this world and kind of embody that. So I try to live my life compassionately, genuinely, passionately. Um, wholly, purely everything um, that I want everyone else to experience and to embody because by, you know, extension and by meeting you, people are going to be inspired by that and want to like have that in their lives when they see how, you know, like joyous and like good and holy you are as a person and they're just like, how do they do that? Maybe I should take some pointers and I'm not, I'm not saying like myself, I'm just saying in general like, like if you see someone who has like great style you want to know where they shop at and who are their inspirations and it's it's kind of like that thing where um, you know you become you know who you hang out with the most too so it's like surrounding yourself with positive people and being that positive person that positive light can incite some pretty amazing change that you're not even aware of you know um, but you being aware of that makes it even ten times more potent because you are living intentionally and that's so important I think in this world and in this life um, so tying it all in Last week, um, I was tagged in a Instagram post by my friend, and it was a sign from my dining hall that says, the veggie burgers are now vegan friendly. And um, before that, they were not. They were binded together through cheese, and I actually didn't know that um, the first like couple months of me transitioning to vegan. Um, and I was still eating them, and I, didn't, I just didn't know that there was cheese, and you would think I would based upon like how I felt after eating them, but I didn't. And um, yeah, and it really bummed me out when I found that out because it was just like, okay, great, like that was always like my safe option, and now I don't even have that. So some nights, like there wouldn't really be anything for me to eat like nutritionally unless I wanted to just have cereal for dinner, which I didn't. So um, I am so utterly excited and happy and just overjoyed that this has happened and it's something small but um, I remember you know always putting in like suggestions and comments and um, my ex would do the same and we would just like work to try and get these changes put into place. He would always write like smoothies and veggie burgers that are vegan friendly and stuff like that. Um, and it's so crazy to see a year later these changes being put into effect in like the time that I'm here at school. And it's just, it, it's, it's mind blowing to me because I think we often underestimate the power of the individual and the power of our own voices. And we think that we need to have like this huge following to to start something and we don't. All you have to do is live your life 
and do what you want others to do and like they will come like like they will come as long as you are positive and you persevere and you are you know doing good um, because everyone wants to be a part of that you know um, so it's crazy because like this small itty bitty change can just start like a huge snowball effect there can now be a meatless Monday like there's this thing called Ticket Tuesday at my school and everyone knows it just means that there's a whole bunch of like different meat options on that day but maybe the day before it can be meatless Monday to counteract that and it just it just makes me excited to see that there's this growth and change going and I know it wasn't just me there's also a few other vegans on campus that you know probably have been voicing the same concerns but it's just just so fulfilling to see this change and know that I was a part of that and that I helped incite that and it, it, it re there's really nothing better in this world and if I like die tomorrow I know that I've done one small thing one small step to get you know the, the, the world to you know be kind of how I, I, I wish it were in my head how I kind of live that it is um, and I think and I think that something else that is super important when it comes to this is understanding that cynicism does not equate reality and I think we often get that confused I think that like a lot of the time we'll, we'll say oh we're just being real with you and that usually it means like a negative statement and to me being real doesn't mean that you know the to put your like to put your expectations low I don't think that that's true and I don't think that that's fair to you as a person I think aim high aim high and you know as long as you're aiming high like don't don't lower your standard or don't lower your expectation just because it's real like everything is possible everything is possible the good the bad the in-between but why expect that low why expect that negative outcome just because like it it won't get your hopes up and like the crash is less painful that's just that's doing you a disservice and doing the world a disservice when you do that to yourself and I and it's something that really just irks me is when someone goes to be real to be realistic as if the positive outcome is not an option is not you know the the reality and that's sad and that like that really just like it gets me so riled up because I refuse to think that every time I go after something I have to expect the lowest possible outcome I can get because that's the realistic thing to do because life can't always work out the way that I want it to and I think that that's silly and that there are going to be some times where I'm not getting the things that I want when I want them but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to get them it doesn't mean that they're not going to come into my life at some point in time so I refuse to like sit and and think that um, and I think that that's something that's super important when um, you know you're trying to incite change or start a, a movement or something like that is not to let other people get you down and don't underestimate yourself and what you can do in this world um, and that's pretty much all I wanted to say but before I go I also wanted to make an announcement um, kind of nervous about it <laughs> um, and I'm just gonna spit it out okay I signed up for a half marathon in September. <laughs> I know. I don't know what, I, I mean I do know what came over me. I've kind of been going through some things and you know they say the best way to you know get your life back on track is to just get new hobbies, keep making new friends, living your life and you know keeping positive and uh, getting new hobbies and I guess my new hobby is now going to be running because uh, yeah, I mean, I've been, okay, let me back up. I've been wanting to do a race for quite some time. Um, my mom does races. She did a triathlon about two years ago. And from that experience and, like, the environment and energy and just the joy and passion and everything that I want my life to, like, encompass is in that racing environment. And I just haven't had the balls to just, like, or the vagina, whatever, <laughs> to, like, go and do one and, like, make myself train for it um, and I mean I'm graduating college I'm starting this whole new adult life there's a whole bunch of change coming and 
I like this is the one thing that like I can really focus on and and is mine and I, I have full control over almost um, and it's just kind of like a test a test for myself to prove that like I'm capable of anything and everything um, so I'm also documenting this uh, journey and change and it's gonna be a long-term project um, because I was looking on YouTube for like like really comprehensive videos on this and um, I just didn't find a like one that wasn't like you trying to sell me something um, and I don't want and, and I want to give that out to the world like I want to give this journey this experience my thoughts my efforts my tri my triumphs and my failures like of this half marathon training to you so that you get a real kind of account of it um, so I'm excited I am nervous um, and September 17th is just like it's really far away, but like it's also not. And I'm just like, how am I gonna? I've never even ran five miles before. Let's just let that sink in. I've never ran more than like 3.3 miles. And I now have to make myself run 13.1. What? Oh, but I'm excited and I think it's gonna be great and grand and um, I can't wait to bring you guys along with me so um, that's it here I hope that you enjoyed this video if you do give it a big thumbs up um, and subscribe if you're not subscribed already I have so much amazing content that I really want to put out there um, and it's the time it's the season you know summer is coming so I'm gonna have a lot more free time a lot more sunshine to work with and I'm pumped. Um, so that's all that I have to say for now. Uh, I love you all so, so much, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!